Welcome to the Atlantic Laser Works shop. Before we start, I want to show you my recording setup. <laughs> this is my iPhone clamped to a plant stand, precariously balanced on the desk, recording my computer screen. So that explains the quality. Here's the project I'm working on today. I wanted to join these graphics together with some text and cut the whole kit and caboodle out in this great freestanding thing. I'm using the excellent tracing mode we have here. I'm gonna turn up the smoothness because right now this is a pixel drawing, so it's rough on the edges. I'm gonna tell it to ignore less than five pixels because it's a bit messy and I, any little blips on the screen I wanted to get rid of. So there, that one click and it's done. It's taken off the background. It's perfectly traced. I end up with an image that is scalable and ready to do whatever I need. Uh, you'll note too in the screen, I have selected delete image after tracing. It just simplifies things. You don't have to do that if you're worried something's gonna go terribly wrong, but it just makes it quick and easy for me. So there's all my scalable graphics and I can now select them, move them around, do whatever I want. I'm gonna add some text in here now. I've got this font is pretzel, and I'm pretty sure I got this one for free off font space. So let's just shift everything around and get it all in a pleasing position. You all know how to do this, click and drag, click and drag, click and drag. Bring the lettering in here. Now, while this is text, I can change it. Uh, Lightburn is great. It automatically joins your lettering. So I'm changing the horizontal spacing, bringing those letters closer together. And you can see they have automatically welded together. I'm gonna do that with the rest. That way when they cut out, I won't have any floating letters that don't end up joined in with the rest of the thing. Let's bring these in here. Now I want to join them top and bottom as well. And just make sure that everything is exactly how I want it. So at this point I still could go in, I could edit the text. And you can see it doesn't join these two words together. It doesn't weld them together because they're separate text boxes, but that is totally fine because I can go back and do it afterwards. I'm just gonna leave them as text as long as possible in case I need to change something else. Or, you know, even if you wanna change the font or whatever, you wanna leave them as text till the last possible minute. Uh, so while I do this, yeah, these graphics, I draw them on my iPad using Procreate. I just snagged some photographs off the internet and I traced them and I colored them in. It's quick and easy for me. I mean, we all traced in kindergarten, so it's not too bad. Uh, and yeah, Procreate only does pixel images, not scalable vectors. Okay, select all these words. I'm gonna offset them to the inside. Uh, let's set the distance. I wanna offset them and, and have a fill on the inside with a nice little outline that stands up on the edge. I'm gonna select the resulting objects because that makes it quick and easy to just turn those into a different layer. Click on the black and now it's automatically a different layer and you can see I can set it to fill. I'm gonna turn that layer off right now by clicking it under show. Now I can select the whole kit and caboodle, go over to the Boolean joins and I'm gonna weld them all together. And just like that, all of the lines in between have disappeared I could cut this out and it would be one solid piece. I'm ungrouping it. I'm just gonna go in and tidy it up a little bit because there's a few little spots that are nah, not necessary to have in there. They're just gonna make little burn spots that I don't really need. I also wanna make sure that I'm not gonna lose anything by having a cutout inside a cutout. I could select everything again and regroup it. If I need to scale this whole thing, it'll scale all as one. This is what it's gonna look like once it's cut. We'll fill in those words nicely and then it'll be all cut as a solid piece. It's just that easy. 
Here it is, fresh off Sparky. You can see it filled in the lettering nicely. This is cut out of a piece of solid cedar, but it's more fragile than I expected. So in my next video, I'm gonna show you what I did to fix that.